poor sanitation is a burning issue in South Africa. The Water Research Commission tells us it costs the continent billions of rand to ensure clean water supply. Now, to find solutions to this, the first International Water Association's non sewage Sanitation Conference set to take place in Johannesburg from Sunday until next week, Wednesday. Here, solutions and innovations will be sought to deal with dysfunctional treatment plants, leaky sewers, and the ever-present pit latrines in communities. To discuss the significance of this conference, I'm joined now by Jay Bagwan. He's the executive manager at the Water Research Commission, and he's also the chair of the non sewer Sanitation Conference. Uh, Jay, good afternoon. Welcome to today, and thank you very much for your time. Thanks for joining us here on ENCA this Friday afternoon. First up, I mean, why is this conference described by yourselves as groundbreaking? Well, Dan, uh, you know, thank you for, for having me. Uh, groundbreaking has been, uh, you know, a character of the South African water sector. I mean, you know, since the 60s, we have been great innovators, pushing the barriers of innovation to solve our problems with a, you know, with a foresight in mind. So groundbreaking is that we set a vision 10 years ago uh, and, and we use this term that where you're born should not determine the kind type of sanitation you get. And it was trying to respond to this uh, inequity we deal with that has huge operational problems in our country where a certain part of the road uh, gets, uh, you know, a very formal uh, flush systems and the other side of the road gets a hole in the ground. And this becomes quite a complex and an inefficient management solution, but it's not aspirational. So we set this aspirational goal to say, uh, how do we solve this problem? And the problem was uh, sitting in that there were not sufficient technological solutions to deal with this different circumstances that we, fear we face in our society, uh, where there is inequity, uh, where there is uh, constraints uh, around water, et cetera, and also financial constraints that kind of uh, not get us to the situation where we can provide uniform levels of service. So with yeah. that ambition, we set this vision around uh, developing a whole lot of new innovative solutions that one did not require lots of water, and secondly, did not require to be sewered. And that's where the term non sewer comes, is that now we can and we do have solutions and technologies where we can treat human waste on site on a person's property. So this, while it will be dealing with the sanitation challenges, will also help us alleviate water problems. We are a water scarce, uh, scarce country. What, what are you gonna be uh, uh, discussing, unpacking really? Uh, from Sunday in this uh, first non sewer sanitation conference? So the, the topic is going to, for the first time, and that's what's pioneering about this, that, you know, as South Africa, we have been in the forefront in the innovation and development, and even some of the experimentation and demonstration. We've come far down the road, and, uh, you know, this this event culminates in that process where we are able to start sharing that there are these real solutions uh, that policymakers, uh, that uh, decision makers in South Africa at a municipal level, at a private sector level, uh, at an industrial level, but also globally can start looking at and saying that, look, this platform is beginning to mature. We need to get more involved and stimulate and invest in it that we can transition it uh, to a bigger uh, solution space. And like you say rightly, that what started as a vision of serving the poor with more dignified and aspirational sanitation is moving in a direction that it's going to start solving many of the complex challenges we face in this you know, uh, challenging environment in terms of climate change in terms of demographies, where we're getting cities that are growing much faster than what we can service them, failing infrastructure. So if we crack this nut like we're doing now, we have cracked it, we need to grow it, 
we are going to eliminate the need for all these sewers. We're going to save something like 30 to 50 percent fresh water because we are not flushing. We are going to close a very important pollution pathway. And we are going to eliminate the need for this very sophisticated wastewater treatment plants that are beginning to fail with the variability they're dealing with, et cetera, et cetera. So the knock-on effects on the long term towards water security uh, to even climate security is quite huge. And, and, and this is what is remarkable around what we have achieved. Okay. And we hosted this first international event to tell the world we are here and we are ready to provide the solutions. Yeah, and as you were talking there, you mentioned waste water treatment plants. I'm thinking about Roy Val and what happened in Hammerskral, but I'm thinking about energy costs as well. And while you're focused on water, you'll also be saving a lot of energy costs. I agree. And, and the, the, the upside to all of this is that we're also tapping in of, of, into where human waste is a resource, okay? It's got fats, it's got oil, it's got nutrient. And in the past, we used to treat it as a pollutant and flush it away. Now we open up the opportunity through very modern and very innovative technologies to open up a circular economy pathway where we can harvest all of these elements because we need them for food security. We need them you know, for energy security, et cetera, et cetera. So human waste is a very good resource. It's there all the time because on planet Earth, all of us on a daily basis, you know, produce this resource and, and that becomes the attractiveness. The circular economy part opens up this huge opportunity for an industrial uh, pathway where we can create a whole lot of new services a whole lot of new jobs, a whole lot of new manufacturing uh, processes, etc. So we poise for kind of an economic revival on a huge problem that we are having in terms of managing uh, sanitation, wastewater, etc. And and I think uh, the state, the government, the, the global players, etc., to start taking cognizance of this new economic opportunity as well. Okay, yeah. that this that can also contribute to a revival, uh, you know, in terms of uh, getting more people, jobs, uh, more safer sanitation, etc., uh, you know, working in that, in that uh, very integrated now, manner. Now, 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 now Jay, who's going to be taking part in this conference? You're going to be showcasing South Africa's innovation around this very important matter. And, of course, down the value chain, it's got so many benefits which you've outlined. Who's going to be in the room from Sunday until Wednesday? So we a bit overwhelmed because we didn't expect a turnout of about 400 participants from something like about 45 countries globally uh, that are coming together to share a lot of the innovation, the science, uh, the product development, etc. A lot of it, our own innovators, etc., our own manufacturers that have been toiling over the last 10 years uh, to drive this platform will be on showcase. So together we are going to talk about technology innovations. We're going to talk about policy unlocking as well, because you know one of the big problems with new innovation is that if the policy and the political systems are not unlocked to enable these things, they do not get the traction and the uh, application they require. So you know things like in the tender process, in the procurement process, in the financing process. And then because it's going to create an element of institutional disruption because it's not going to be purely a public driven model, it's going to be a public, what I would call private entrepreneur driven model. It's about then developing uh, smart systems of regulations, of standards, of, uh, 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 of, of monitoring, of evaluation, that protects the customers and the users. But it's an exciting time okay. because, you know, we have been all about disruption. We have been all about innovation. And this gives us this platform. We need the political support. We need the institutional support to, to now turn this gear uh, to, okay. to, to, to scale this up so that more people in our country can enjoy 
the okay. better aspirational meditation solutions, as well as the people in the developing world. Jay Bagwan, thank you very much for your time. I'm hoping we'll be able to touch base with you after Wednesday to find out what were the real outcomes and what you're going to be doing next practically to bring uh, alive this uh, innovative way of dealing with uh, sanitation in our country. That's Jay Bagwan, Executive Manager at the Water Research Commission, South Africa here. He's also the chairperson of the uh, uh, non sewered sanitation uh, conference uh, that's going to be starting on Sunday and lasting until next Wednesday. Very interesting indeed, saving water on, on the one hand, also saving energy costs while creating jobs and making sure that uh, there is a healthy population as when it comes to waste management.